Hey everyone, welcome to theCUBE's presentation of the AWS Startup Showcase. This is season two, episode three of our ongoing series that features great partners in the massive AWS partner ecosystem. This series is focused on MarTech, emerging cloud scale customer experiences. I'm Lisa Martin and I've got two guests here with me to talk about this. Please welcome Daisy Erfer, Cloud Alliance Sales Director at Algolia and Jason Ling, the head of product for Apply Digital. These folks are here to talk with us today about how Algolia's search and discovery enables customers to create dynamic real-time user experiences for those also demanding customers. Daisy and Jason, it's great to have you on the program. Great to be here, thanks. Us. Daisy, we're going to go ahead and start with you. Give the audience an overview of Algolia, what you guys do when you were founded, what some of the gaps were in the market that your founders saw and fixed? Sure, it's actually a really fun story. We were founded in 2012. Uh, we are an API first SaaS solution for search and discovery, but our founders actually started off with a search tool for mobile platforms, so just for your phone, and it quickly expanded. We recognized the need across the market it's been a really fun place to grow the business. And we have 11,000 customers today and growing every day uh, with 30 billion searches a week. So uh, we do a lot of business. It's fun. 30 billion searches a week. And I saw some great customer brands, Lacoste, NBC Universal. You mentioned over 11,000. Talk to me a little bit about some of the technologies. I see that you have a search product, you have a, recommend, a recommendation product. What are some of those key capabilities that the products deliver? Because as we know, as users, when we're searching for something, we expect it to be incredibly fast. Sure, yeah. We. Um, what's fun about Algolia is we are actually the second largest search uh, engine on the internet today to Google. So we are right below the guy who's made search at their verb, right? So we really provide an overall uh, search strategy. We provide a dashboard for end users. So they can provide the best results to their customers and what their customers see. Customers want to see everything from a recommend, which is our recommend engine, right? So when you search for that dress and shows you the frequently bought together shoes that match, right? Things like that. Um, to things like promoted items and, and, what, and what's missing in, in the search results. So we do that with a different algorithm today. Uh, most in the industry kind of rank and they'll stack what you would want to see, we do kind of a pair for pair ranking system. So we really compare what you're looking for and get, and it gives a much better result. And that's incredibly critical for users these days who want results in milliseconds, right? Jason, you, Applied Digital is a partner of Algolia. Talk to us about Applied Digital, what it is that you guys do, and then give us a little bit of insight on that partnership. Sure. So uh, Applied Digital was uh, originally founded in 2016 uh, in Vancouver, Canada, and we have offices in Vancouver, Toronto, New York, LA, San Francisco, uh, Mexico City, Sao Paulo, and, and Amsterdam. And uh, we are a, a, a digital experiences agency. So brands and, and companies and startups and all the way from startups to major global conglomerates who, who have this desire to, to truly create these amazing digital experiences. It could be a website, it could be an app, it could be a full blown uh, marketing platform, just whatever it is. And they, they, they lack either the experience or the internal resources or, or what have you, then they come to us. And, and we are NN, we strategy, design, product, development, all the way through the execution side. Um, and to help us out, we, we partner with uh, organizations like Algolia to offer certain solutions, like in Algolia's case, like search recommendation, things like that, to our various clients and customers who are like, hey, I want to create this experience and it's going to require search or it's going to require some sort of recommendation. And we're like, well, have we, we, we highly recommend that you use Algolia. Um, they're a partner of ours. They've been absolutely amazing uh, over the time that we've had the partnership. And that's, that's what we do. And, and honestly, for digital experiences, like searches, searches the essence of the internet. It yeah. just is. So almost, I cannot think of a single digital experience that doesn't require some sort of search or recommendation engine right. attached to it. 
So, and Algolia has just knocked it out of the park with their experience, not only from a customer experience, but also from a development experience. So that's why, I mean, it they're they're just an amazing, amazing partner to have. Sounds like a great partnership. Jason, let's pump yeah. it back over to you. Talk about some of those main challenges. Jason alluded to them that businesses are facing, whether it's e-commerce, SaaS, a startup or whatnot, where search and recommendations are concerned. Because we all, I think, have had that experience where we're searching for something. And Daisy, you were describing how the recommendation engine works. And when we're searching for something, if I've already bought a tent, don't show me more tent, show me things that would go with it. What are some of those main challenges that Algolia's solution just eliminates? Sure. I, so I think one of the main challenges we have to focus on is most of our customers are fighting against kind of the big guys out there that have hundreds of engineers on staff custom building a search solution. We And our consumers expect that response. You expect the same search response that you get when you're streaming video content, looking for a movie from your big retailer shopping experiences. So what we want to provide is the ability to deliver that result with much less work and hassle and have it all show up. And we do that by really focusing on the results that the customers need and what that view needs to look like. Um, we see a lot of our customers just experiencing a huge loss in revenue by, by only providing basic search. And we, because as Jason put it, search is so fundamental to the internet. We all think it's easy. We all think it's just basic. And when you provide basic, you don't get the shoes with the dress. You, you get mm -hmm. just the text response results back. And so we want to make sure that we're providing that, that back to our customers. What we see on uh, average is even in everybody's going mobile, right? A lot of times I know I do all my shopping on my phone a lot of the time and 40 to 50% better relevancy results for our customers for mobile users. That's a huge impact to, to their use case. That is huge. And I mean, we talked about patients wearing quite thin the last couple of years, but we have this expectation in our consumer lives and in our business lives, if we're looking for SaaS or software or whatnot, that we're going to be able to find what we want that's relevant to what we're looking for. You mentioned revenue impact, customer churn, brand reputation. Those are all things that if search isn't done well, if you, to your point, Daisy, if it's done in a basic fashion, mm -hmm. those are some of the things that customers are going to experience. Jason, talk to us about why Algolia, what was it specifically about that technology that really led Applied Digital to say, this is the right partner to help eliminate some of those challenges that our customers could face. Sure. So, um, you know, I'm I'm in the product I'm in the the product world. So I have the 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 wonderful advantage of not worrying about how something's built. Those that is left unfortunately to the poor poor engineers that have to that have to work with us us mad scientist product people who are like I want make it do this. I don't know how, but make it do this. And and one of the big things is like with with Algolia is the lift to implement is really, really light. Um, you know, working closely with our engineering team and, and even, you know, with our, with, with our customers slash users and everything like that, you know, you kind of alluded to it, you know, a little earlier, which like at the end of the day, if it's bad search, it's bad search. It just is. It, it's terrible. And, and people's attention span can now be measured in nanoseconds. Um, but they don't care how it works. They just want it to work. I push a button, I want something to happen, period. There's an entire universe that, that is behind that button. And that's what, what Algolia has really kind of focused on, that universe behind that button. So by, and, and it's, they, they, the two, there's two kind of ways that we use them. Like on a web, on a, on a web experience, there's you know, the embedded, embedded search widget, which is really, really easy to implement. Documentation, I cannot speak high enough about documentation, um, is amazing. Um, and then from the web aspect, I'm sorry, from the mobile aspect, it's very, you know, API fork. And any type of API implementation where you can customize the UI, which obviously you can imagine our clients are like, no, we want to have our own front end. We want to have our own custom experience. We use Algolia as that engine. Uh, again, the, the documentation and the light lift of implementation is huge. That, that is a, a massive, massive bonus for why we partnered with them. Um, before product, I, I was an engineer a very long time ago. I've seen 
bad documentation. And it's like, I don't, I don't know how to, impl- I don't know what this is. I don't know how to implement this. I don't even know what I'm looking at, but with, with Algolia and, and everything, it's like, it's so simple. And I know I can just hear the applied digital technology team just like grinding sometimes of oh, why is a product guy saying that implement? Well, he should do it, but it is, it just, it's the lift. It's the documentation. It's the support. And it's like, it's a full blown partnership. And, and that's why we went with it. And that's what we tell our clients. It's like, listen, this is why we chose Algolia because eventually this experience we're creating for them is theirs. Ultimately it's theirs. And then they are going to have to pick it up after a certain amount of time once it's theirs. And having that transition of like, look, this is how easy it is to, to implement. Here is all the documentation. Here is all the support that you get. It just makes that transition from us to them beautifully seamless. And that's huge. You know, yeah. we talk often talk about hard metrics, but ease of use, ease of implementation. The, the documentation, the support, yeah. those are all absolutely business critical for the organization who's implementing the software. The fastest time to value they can get can be table stakes and it can be also a massive competitive differentiator. Dizzy, I want to go back to you in terms of hard numbers. Um, Algolia has a recent Forrester Total Economic Impact or TEI study that really has some compelling stats. Can you share some of those insights with us? Yeah, absolutely. I think that this is one of the most fun numbers to share. Uh, We have a recent report that came out. It shared that there's a 382% return on investment across three years by implementing Algolia. So that's increased to revenue, increased conversion rate, increased time on your site, 382% return on investment for, for the purchase. So we know our pricing's right. We know we're providing for our customers. We know that we're giving them the results that we need. Um, I've been in the search industry for long enough to know that uh, those are some amazing stats and I'm really proud proud to work for them and be behind them. Well, the, that can be transformative for a business. I think we've all had that experience of trying to search on a website and not finding anything of relevance. And I sometimes I scratch my head, why is this experience still like this? If I could churn, I would. Um, so having that ability to easily implement, have the documentation that makes sense and get such high ROI in a short time period is is hugely differentiated for businesses. And I think we we all know, as Jason said, you know, we measure response time in nanoseconds. That's how much patience yeah. and tolerance we all have on the business side, on the consumer side. So having that, um, not just this fast search, but the contextual search is table stakes for organizations these days. I'd love for you guys, and and either one of you can take this, to share a customer example or two that really shows the value of the Algolia product and then also maybe the partnership. So I'll I'll go. We have uh, have a couple of partners uh, in two vastly different industries, Um, but both use uh, Algolia as a solution for, for search. One of them is a, best way to put this, multinational biotech health company um, that has this, we, we built for them this, this internal portal uh, for all of their healthcare uh, practitioners, their HCPs, so that they could access information, data, reports, wikis, the, the, whole, the whole thing. And it is a, it's basically they're almost like their version of Wikipedia, but it's all internal and you can imagine, you know, the level of, of data security that it has to be because this is biotech and healthcare. Um, so we implemented uh, Algolia as an internal uh, search engine for them. And th- the three main reasons why we went, why, why, why we, impl- why we recommended Algolia and we implemented Algolia was one uh, HIPAA compliance. That was like that. That's like the first one. If it's, it's like if that's a no, we're not playing. So HIPAA compliance, again, the ease of search, the whole whole contextual search, and then the recommendations and and things like that. It was a true. It didn't. It wasn't just like a a half hearted implementation of like an internal search engine to look for files kind of thing. It is a full blown search engine, um, specifically for the data that they want. 
And uh, I think we're averaging, if I remember the numbers correctly, it's north of, of 200,000 searches a month just on this internal portal specifically for their club, for their employees in their company. And, and it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and then conversely, <laughs> we, we work with a, a, uh, pretty, pretty high level, uh, uh, adventure clothing brand, uh, uh st standard traditional, e-commerce, they have a mobile application, kind of leaves what you're saying earlier. It's like, you know, I buy everything on my phone kind of thing. And uh, so that's what we did. We we support, we we support, we built and we support their, their mobile application. And they wanted to use for search, uh, they want to do a couple of things, which was really kind of interesting. They want to do, you know, traditional search, uh, you know, search catalogs, search SKUs, recommendations, so forth and so on. But they also want to do a store finder, which was kind of interesting. So we it, we'd said, all right, we're going to be implementing Algolia because it's going to, the lift is going to be so much easier than trying to do everything like that. And we did, and they're using it and um, massively successful. They are so happy with it where it's like, they've got this like really kind of contextual kind of experience where it's like, I'm looking for a store near me. Hey, I've been looking for these items. You know, I've been looking for this puffy vest and I'm looking for a store near me. It's like, well, there's a store near me, but it doesn't have it, but there's a store closer to me and it does have it. And all of that kind of wraps around what, what it is. And all of it was, you know, again, using, using Algolia, because like I said earlier, it's like, if I'm searching for something, I want it to be correct. And I don't just want it to be correct. I want it to be relevant. Yes. And I want it to be, I want it to feel personalized. Yes. Like I'm asking right. to find something, give me something that I am looking for. So, yeah. Yeah. That personalization and that relevance is yeah. critical. I keep saying that word critical. I'm overusing it, but it is, we <laughs> have that expectation that whether it's an internal portal, as you talked about, Jason, or it's an right. adventure clothing brand or, a grocery store or an e-commerce right. site that the, what they're going to be showing me is exactly what I'm looking for. Sort of that mm -hmm. magic behind there. That's almost borderlines on creepy, but we, we want it. We want it to be able to make our lives easier, whether we are on the consumer side, whether we on the business side. I, I do wonder what the go to market is. Daisy, can you talk a little bit about where do customers go that are saying, Oh, I need to angle it. And I want to be able to do that now. How, how, what's the GTM between both of these companies? Um, so where to find us? You can find yeah. us on AWS Marketplace, which is our, which is another favorite place, right? You can quickly click through and find, um, but you can, you can connect us through Apply Digital as, as well. I think, um, we try to be pretty available and meet our customers right where they are. So, um, we're open to, to any options and we love exploring with them. I think, I think what is fun and I'd love to talk about as well in the customer cases is not just the e-commerce space, but also the content space. Um, we have a lot of content customers, think about news organizations, things like that. And sometimes that's a struggle to deliver results on. Um, it's really a challenge, right? And also you want it to be relevant, so up-to-date content. So uh, it's not just about e-commerce, it's about all of your, all of your solution overall. Um, but we hope that you'll find us on AWS Marketplace or uh, anywhere else. Got it. And that's a great point that it's not just e-commerce, it's content. And that's really critical for some industry businesses across industries. Yeah. Jason and Daisy, thank you so much for joining me talking about Algolia Applied Digital, what you guys are doing together and the huge impact that you're making to the customer user experience that we all appreciate and know and come to expect these days is going to be awesome. We appreciate your insights. Thank you. Thank you. For Daisy and Jason, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching The Cube, our AWS startup showcase, MarTech Emerging Cloud Scale Customer Experiences. Keep it right here on The Cube for more great content. We're the leader in live tech coverage.